It's only days since South Sudan's warring parties agreed to end a war which has ravaged the world's youngest country. But the United Nations is keen for the government to take the next big step as soon as possible. Form a hybrid court to put on trial anyone suspected of committing atrocities during the conflict. What we said in our report that South Sudan is a country at war with its citizens because the attacks continue, the violations continue, the outflow of internally displaced persons and refugees continue, and of course the number of children who are affected by the conflict continue to go on the increase. War began in 2013 when President Salva Kiir accused his then Vice President Rick Machar of attempting a coup. Tens of thousands of people have been killed and a third of the country's 12 million population displaced. The UN has reports of ethnic killings, rape and recruitment of child soldiers and has no guarantee those activities won't continue. The signed peace deal calls for, among other things, the formation of a court so those accused of crimes can be held accountable. But South Sudan's government, which has denied committing any offenses, says the immediate priority should be on building peace in the country. Uh, South Sudan is now looking for a way out uh, from the conflict uh, to peace, and peace agreement has been signed. So the international community should now give time uh, for the uh, government and the other political parties that signed the agreement to make sure they implement the peace agreement in letter and spirit. Uh, the issue of... Uh, of accountability doesn't come at a loft. The accountability should come as part of the uh, implementation of peace agreement. But for many people, if justice is seen to be done, it will enable them to move on from the horrors of the past and rebuild their lives. Hiba Morgan, Al Jazeera.